guys. Bringing to you an awesome uh, paperweight. Uh, actually, it is a, a self-defense uh, knuckle tool. Now, this was sent to me uh, by Ivan, the paracordist. His uh, YouTube channel name is Carbafos. And I've done some videos uh, for my friend Ivan uh, before. He's also sent me um, this really neat Spartan uh, bead helmet lanyard. Which I actually, I rigged that up, and that's a German silver. That is awesome, and I've, I've got a, uh, some a video footage of that up as well. And so what this is, it is the Siberian Salamander. It is solid brass, and it comes in at about four ounces. And that actually, uh, I gotta say, this this bad boy is pretty heavy uh, for what it is, and which is good. That's what you want in like a self-defense tool. Now, you will have some that are made out of titanium. They're going to be lighter. But, man, having the weight uh, behind this is very encouraging. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, definitely. And I was, you know, I was talking about being a paperweight. It's kind of the deal with brass knuckles sometimes. Um, in certain countries, there's some stipulations on what a self-defense tool is. But this one is like a self-defense knuckle tool. And there's several different ways you can hold it. Um, you can have it, you know, the punch edge, sort of the turtle head or that, uh, that salamander head. Uh, you can have that sticking out. Uh, I'm probably going to be using it more like this in some of my testing because that way all the shock is going to be absorbed into my hand uh, when I, you know, w with whatever you're going to punch. So uh, I thought it was pretty neat. Pretty good, you know, overall design. Pretty comfy. Very ornate uh, looking. Well, like I said, solid brass. Weighs in about four ounces. And then, like, a big thank you to Ivan for sending this to me. Yeah, and, uh, man, I'm really excited to use this. I've been carrying it around in my keychain. For uh, a couple weeks now, I just have some paracord uh, loop through it. Man, really like this so far. Pretty neat, like like I said, just very ornate and very unique. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into some testing. I hope it's gonna be a little unique and do a few different things in this. I know I've requested a few things of me, so I hope I, hope I do the best and I get the best results out of it. But no, it's just a neat little self-defense uh, punch to it. The quick video test I'm gonna do on camera is uh, my convection oven actually just recently crapped out on me. And Ivan requested he, uh, that I do something. He really wanted me to see me punch through like some auto glass uh, with this uh, little knuckle tool. But this is about the best I can do right now. I want to go ahead and mention that I'm wearing eye protection. I have really good hand protection. I just got these gloves. Uh, they're pretty much half leather and half Nomex material. And the Nomex is a uh, fire retardant. And uh, man, these are nice gloves. I, I wish I got me a pair a long time ago. Got the nice knuckle guards on there. Now there's a few ways you can hold this this uh, punch tool. You can see I've got like that spread in my fingers and it's going to take the impact and the shock uh, like that. Now that mostly takes the shock in your fingers but if you take a full on grip and just have basically that little salamander head poking through the shock is, is absorbed in the rest of uh, your wrist. Yeah, I mentioned that I also did some, did some testing off video on the wood here and I hammered on that pretty hard there for a little bit. Put some pretty decent dents in it. This was a quarter inch like press board and it did pretty pretty good on there. But um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. This is like tempered uh, glass. We'll see how it goes. Holy cow. Got it. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> you weren't expecting that either, were you? <laughs> well, actually, I was. I could see it start to shatter. Oh, man, that's awesome. Yeah, you can see it starting to shatter cool. from where you're hitting man, it. That's a, so we worked on it over there. Carlisle's idea to move it on the ground. Man, I wailed on it. We got it. Shattered through the guy. Um, man, that's awesome. I'm gonna try to impact some of the uh, the top and see what it does on here with some of the metal. Oh yeah. Let's check the status of our uh, Polynesian salamander. Or, I'm sorry. Check the status of our Siberian salamander. I think it was Polynesian turtle also. Woo! All right, that's solid brass. It's pretty mean. No joke. Really weld on that glass. Hammered that. I'll tell you what, I'll hammer one of the sides real quick. 
<laughs> oh, wow. Ow. All righty. Okay. There he is. Okay. Um, final thoughts, actually, on this uh, the Siberian salamander. Um, the weight really helps you get some good momentum with the punching. And then, like I said, you have your different methods. Uh, you could even use a sort of like a karambit with the little um, the salamander head facing up. You do up sweeping motions on you know a self defense situation. But you know can't beat anything like a punch weapon like that. Just a couple different ways to grab it and use it, and then you have the weight. Um, didn't sustain a lot of damage in the testing here, but um, yeah, that was fun. So, uh, all right, so thanks again to Ivan for sending this to me. Um, you can get him off of his website. And uh, so, thank you so much for watching. Mr. Leonidas signing out.